It is April 7th, 2022, and you're watching The Code Report. Machine intelligence is the last invention humanity will ever need to make. AI has already made many jobs obsolete and is well on its way to replacing pilots, doctors, soldiers, and of course us programmers. One of the last bastions of humanity is art, or so we thought. As of yesterday, digital artists and designers have been put on notice. OpenAI, the team behind GPT-3, just announced dall a 2 a neural network that can turn natural language into images, and it's some of the wildest technology you've ever seen. Imagine I gave you a requirement to draw something redonkulous, like a bowl of soup that looks like a monster spray-painted on a wall. Dolle can create realistic, novel images that have never been seen before from a simple text prompt like that. If we tweak the request a little bit, asking it to look like plasticine, we get totally different results. We can ask it for pencil drawings, styles inspired by famous artists, photorealistic renderings, and really anything you can imagine because the AI is built on top of 40,000 years of human artwork, going all the way back to cave drawings. This tool is not open to the public yet, but the OpenAI team was nice enough to generate a ship sailing through a sea of fire for me. In addition to unique image generation, it can also replace things in existing images, like when you need to insert your ex-girlfriend into an Instagram photo. It can also take an image as an input, then create a bunch of different variations with different styles and angles. Pretty terrifying, I mean awesome, but how does this thing actually work? Well, it's based on GPT-3, the same model that powers things like GitHub Copilot for writing code. It's trained on a massive collection of images with labeled text descriptions. Most importantly, it understands how different objects in an image relate to each other, like how a panda relates to a skateboard relates to Santa Monica. There's a paper titled Hierarchical Text Conditional Image Generation with Clip Latents, if you want to get into the finer details. But basically, it's a decoder or transformer that uses a process called diffusion, which starts with a pattern of random pixels that are gradually moved around until they satisfy the text input. To make high-quality images, it generates 512 different possible outcomes Outcomes, then uses a neural network called CLIP to predict human aesthetic judgments by ranking the results and rejecting the ones that don't look good. Pretty amazing, and it feels like one step closer to artificial general intelligence. But what does a tool like this mean for the world? Here are my initial thoughts. This could put a big dent into businesses like iStock and Shutterstock if everybody can just create their own original stock photography. Photoshop as a tool might become way less important because this is essentially an automatic Photoshop. Now, when it comes to NFTs, which are already oversaturated, someone could instantly flood the market with tons of unique art. How about website and logo design? You can just pick your favorite website or logo, then generate a million different unique variations. Realistically though, it's not going to replace designers anytime soon. In fact, it should be a very useful tool for them, like Copilot is for programmers. The big question though is what does it mean for memes? I think memes will be safe for the time being. I can also imagine a lot of potential for abuse with a tool like this by creating explicit or offensive content. Now, I have to be real with you guys. This report is very troubling for me personally because the writing is on the wall. AGI is not far away. Way. Now that machines can clone voices, write code, and make art, it has all the skills to take my job. Damn it. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one, maybe.